Part nine, the reading comprehension essay. This is gonna be our second essay. And what's nice about this essay, a lot of teachers do really well in it because it has a lot of similar elements to the first essay. So you're gonna to get to carry over a lot of skills that you acquired from that first essay. Like, like for one thing, just like the first essay, you're gonna be analyzing a student and looking for strengths and weaknesses in their reading comprehension. So the first essay focused on the student's oral reading fluency, and we looked at strengths and areas of need in, the, in, in their fluency. Now we're gonna do something similar. We're gonna analyze the student's comprehension, reading comprehension, and we're gonna to look to see where the student has a strength in comprehension and where there are gaps in comprehension. Just like the first essay, we had an outline, just like this, where you had to identify, you did that intro paragraph, strength paragraph, area need paragraph, an instructional strategy in a mini lesson. This is gonna be almost, this is gonna be the same. You're gonna have that intro paragraph, strength paragraph, instruction, uh, um, area need paragraph, instructional needs paragraph, and mini lesson. So those elements are almost mirror, mirror images, okay? And if you had a different essay where you had to describe two areas of need, like the reading specialist, you might have to do that for the same one here. But these are gonna be almost mirror images in terms of the structure. So this essay is gonna use that same structure and that should really help you in the writing because you'll get, have a second chance of using this outline. Here's something else that's gonna be, uh, here's something else about this one. Just like the first one where I gave you a certain amount of skills to focus in on, because they, they give you lots of different things to write in this essay. They give you tons of stuff to write about. I've picked four, literal, literal comprehension, inferential comprehension, metacognitive strategies, and scheme engagement. I think that these are the ones that you could probably write a wonderful essay in. And, and if you just focus on these ones right here as you go through the class, they'll go through each one of these, literal comprehension, inferential comprehension, metacognitive strategies like self-monitoring and scheme engagement. These four are the ones that you can study. And then it, for most teachers in this room, I would say about uh, most of you, 90% of you, can easily use these to write your strength paragraphs and your area of need paragraphs just from these four ideas. There'll be others in this section that you can study, but I think these are the four that you can write wonderful essays with. So make sure you study these top four reading comprehension skills, okay? And then, and then um, just like before, you, you're gonna be given two pieces, of, uh, two pieces of information to study. The first is gonna be the text that the student has to read. And, and we're gonna do a text analysis on that text. We're gonna read over that text, essentially. Identify you know, what's going on on a literal level and identify what's going on on an infer inferential level. So we'll be trying to answer the who, what, where, when for ourselves, as well as you know, the why, what's going on underneath, uh, under the surface with the text. And then you're gonna be given a student's transcript and you're gonna to have to see how they do with their interpretation of the text. And again, just like we, uh, we're gonna be looking at this transcript, citing strengths and citing weaknesses. And my suggestion to keep this really simple, keep it super simple, is when you're citing strengths and weaknesses, start with these four, all right? You'll be able to write a beautiful essay and spot these in the student's uh, um, reading summary and in reading, in reading comprehension summary. But stick with these four as a starter, especially if you're a new student, if you're just starting out with this, you can write wonderful, wonderful essays with these four. And even if you're a reading specialist, reading specialist team, you don't need to overdo it. You can write amazing essays that are gonna help you get your, the highest scores possible on your essays, but you just need to focus in and really master these four, okay? All right, team, I hope you're excited. We are going to start now. I want you to begin with the first section and I'll see you soon. All right, see you soon, team. Let's go.